Hi, I'm Cannon, and this is my co-host Zoe. And we're with our very special guest, Star Lady. Star Lady, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm from the Northern Territory and I work in remote Indigenous communities teaching hairdressing, fashion and beauty. And I work a lot with uh, Indigenous uh, sister girl, brother boy and Indigenous gay and lesbian community up there. And we've been working together a lot um, promoting their rights and um, working on intercultural activities. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what you mean by sister girl and brother boy? Okay. Sister Girl and Brother Boys is uh, it's a cultural identity within itself, but it represents the you know the trans community within Indigenous culture. But it is a very distinct cultural identity. So you can't just go, oh, it's Indigenous trans people because it's so much more than that. I heard that um, the Sister Girls Brother Boys may not identify as transgender. Is that true? And what do you think is the differences and the connections between um, our trans communities. Okay. I mean, some of it, you know, I'm not an indigenous sister girl, so you know, some of that, some of that question is, you know, is difficult for me to answer. And I'd say there'd be a diverse opinion within uh, within that community about how they view their own identity. But there is really strong, um, different, you know, cultural you know, identities, you know. I think, you know, some sister girls don't, you know, it's about culturally, sister girls culturally identifying as a woman. And in some places that comes, like a lot from top end places, comes from a, you know, ancient cultural heritage, while in other places it would be perceived as new culture coming in. So that culture, you know, is spreading. And not everybody who, um, you know, m might identify with that um, terminology. You know, I'm working with young people, incredibly remote, like I'm talking about thousand kilometres northwest of Alice Springs, you know, in some communities where they haven't even heard that term, you know, sister girls, but you know, they are identified within the community as having a diverse gender. So in terms of people accessing hormones and things, is that an issue for people? Um, I think you know, for for you know, indigenous um, youth, ac you know, who are living remote, I don't think accessing those services um, is the top priority. You know, their top priority is about feeling accepted within their community. I think you know, it, with one of the differences between you know, indigenous um, sister girl and brother boy culture and trans people in the, in the in the city is, I think you know hormones and things and that those options come a lot later later on in, which is you know similar but it's not something that young people I think you know young sister girls uh, that's their immediate needs. Do you think of any ways that the greater trans community can support sister girl brother boy like, communities? Well, well I know you know at least in the Northern Territory there are no services at all that are dealing with you know, under 18 transgendered people. And in the greater, you know, even in the greater trend, you know, with, with older trans sister girls and brother boys as well, there is a complete lack of support services except regarding sexual health. And I know that the, the community has a lot more needs in terms of advocacy, um, community outreach, and, you know, um, accessing, you know, um, uh, homeless services and things like that and so there's a lot more needs and I know that that community really struggles with racism in in the you know GBLTI um, community and so we, we need to be actively supporting that community and showing and showing them that we're behind them and that's why our community in Alice Springs recently recently held a um, you know an intercultural pride event and it was Pride Carnival and it was the first one in Alice Springs and we got managed to get that carnival broadcast live on on Karma Radio which is an indigenous radio station and our community we got behind them we got behind especially key people within the sister girl and brother boy community to help them be role models and to help their stories get out there and I think it's a first and I'd like to see the rest of Australia you know following suit and the rest of our gay and lesbian and transgendered community getting behind them and you know they're everywhere you know in all the cities we need to get behind the um, you know indigenous um, GBLTI community and sister girls and brother boys and show them our support. The Pride Carnival that you had in Alice Springs has really put you guys on the map 
it's pretty amazing to see the photos and hear the stories that came from that event. Yeah, we were really excited. I mean, if we can do it in Alice Springs, and Alice Springs can be an incredibly segregated community. There can be big divisions between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. And if we can make it happen there, I think, you know, we can make it happen anywhere. And I thought we felt as a community, we've got the unique opportunity to address this. And we we're hearing stories from the sister girl and brother boy community about racism they'd been experiencing. Like there were performances in Cairns where, where, you know, drag queens, you know, were mocking, you know, sister girls in a show. And it had a massive impact on the sister girl community. And it was one of the things that, you know, inspired us to go, oh, we want to show them that we actually support them. And they struggle so much in their communities. Like, it's hard. And, you know, that's why I think we need to support them. They're already struggling. Why should we then, you know, discriminate against, you know, against them? We need to support them. So we've kind of been um, meeting on the internet some of these leaders in the sister girl community. It's really nice to start having conversations with, you know, our friends r rurally anywhere. But I don't know, meeting, there's some really amazing leaders within the sister girl community. Someone. I've met Rosalina and I've met Lisa and Brianna. And I haven't met Crystal, but I've heard a lot about Crystal. <laughs> um, yeah, they're really amazing leaders within the um, sister girl and brother boy mm -hmm. community. And they've really um, step, you know, they've been stepping up and getting their stories out there. And we need to be, we need to be consulting with them. How can we help them? How can we support it? Because they're asking for, for that support. But maybe you could tell us a little bit about brother boys. Do you know come into contact with many or yeah there are there are brother boys and it's a different you know there's a different sort of I think they can you know can definitely in remote communities you know it's more more even more hidden than sister girls and so they can really struggle and it's a element that, of the community that we're trying to reach out to more um, a little bit earlier we were talking about um, I guess you felt that the communities up in the um, Northern Territory were quite supportive of each other and that wasn't necessarily reflected kind of, you know, in different cities and different kind of communities outside yeah. of that. Yeah, so in the Northern Territory, it's such a small part, it's small community, we don't have time for divisions. And so, you know, sister girls, brother boys, mm -hmm. trans people, gender diverse people, we all come together and we all work together and we all support each other. And I think it's really sad when I come, you know, when we come interstate and there are so many divisions in the community, we're asking for acceptance from the greater community we need to accept each other more and support each other more and that's what I think you know the Northern Territory if anything you know I'd hope that we can share that. Sometimes there is tensions I think in bigger cities with all the politics surrounding gender and sexuality. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me and we look forward to working with you and working with the greater GBLTI community.